everybody. It is 11.20 on a Tuesday evening. <laughs> 11.20 at night. James has went to work. And it's pouring the rain. But thank goodness it's not snow. I'm so sorry for you people out there that's getting one and two feet of snow. Them blizzards and stuff. I hope you all are okay. And I hope that it quits snowing. And that them plows can clear up your streets. And nobody loses power. And... You know, because I know how that feels like. I know what that feels like. So I, t I promised Beth I was going to make a video Sunday or Monday, and I never did. So, But I wanted to say I did complete my January project. Right here it is. It is um, a box of cards that I, I ordered it, I don't know, from Amazon or somebody. Maybe QVC or HSN or somebody. And it's a card kit. And it comes out like this. And inside were little cards that you could put together with cardstock. And it had, uh, uh, mostly all you had to use was stickers and stuff like that. And uh, the cards look like this. I think that's a little gingerbread girl. I don't know if you can see it for the glare. But she's got a ribbon and it's got buttons on there and stuff. It's real cute. But I did finish it, and I thought there were 24 cards, but there was only 16 cards, so it wasn't that hard to finish. And uh, what I did was, Joshua came home Friday night, real late, and he had two weeks of dress clothes that I had to wash. And, uh, you know, it took me eight hours to do it. Because you just can't play around with that stuff and throw it in the washer and let it go, you know, you have to be careful with it, and so while I was doing that all day Saturday, I made those cards, so, and here's some, here's a, some pictures of the cards, I don't know if you can see, oh, it's real cute, and I really enjoyed it, and I might buy another kit, you know, and it helped me, I've got stuff to make cards with, but I've always been intimidated by it, just like I'm intimidated by scrapbooking, and I got all kinds of stuff like that. That's what I usually wrap my, my scrapbooking paper. I didn't want to go, let it go to waste. So I use it to wrap up my little things I make in jewelry. So I feel like I've not wasted my money on all that paper I bought. But it just intimidates me to death. And so, But making these cards helped me. And um, I might get out my card making stuff, you know. <laughs> but everybody's doing good here. Um... James is working, still on the dozer, but I don't know how for, for how long. But cross your fingers, he's still good, doing good. My brother-in-law has his aneurysm surgery on Thursday. And he's going to have it at 7 o'clock in the morning. It's like two hours away. I'm going to try my best to go over there and be with my sister. I wasn't able to when he had his heart surgery. So if y'all can, try to say a little prayer, sing good thoughts to him on Thursday after he gets that done. Hopefully, there won't be any more major things in his life, you know, and uh, just wish the best for him. They're both exhausted, worn out, going to doctors and this surgery, and it's weighed so heavily on my sister, and she's exhausted, and she just needs a break, and he does too, of course, and I hope that things go well for him, and I know they will, and, but you know how you... You worry about stuff like that. Let's see. Uh, Angela on Anne's, um, Grams and Poppy, she was telling about the SWAT team uh, across the street from her house in her video the other day. And, honey, we had something happen up the holler. There was some excitement up the holler. <laughs> some crazy boy. I want to call him a fool. Probably come up the holler about 50, 60 miles an hour. I don't know if he's drinking or what, but... Um, he uh, came across his little bridge out here, and honey, he just rode that car right up on the guardrail of the bridge. Lord have mercy, I heard this big crash, and I was downstairs, and James was upstairs, and I said, did you hear that? <laughs> and he didn't answer me. He must have had his earphones on listening to music or something. And, you know, I just didn't, I knew it was loud, but I thought, well, maybe we're having a thunderstorm. You know, it was really, a, it was a crash. My sister called me. She said, did you see that? Well, I've got footage of it. But you can't hardly see nothing. But there was police and fire people and all oh, trying to get him off them guardrails. And they took his butt to jail. 
But anyway, that was excitement up in the holler, you know. <laughs> I told Angie I was going to put it in a video, you know. So what else? Well, there's really nothing. We haven't had any snow for, thank goodness, for a week or so. Josh was in D.C. and um, he's doing all right. He's getting so tired of driving back and forth. And he's thinking about taking the train to and from Washington, which is like a two-hour drive over there to catch the train. And like an eight or nine-hour drive uh, with the train, you know, trip. And then, you know, when he gets back home, he have to, you know, it's still going to be hard on him. But we're hoping they're going to let him work from home a little bit. And, um... Uh, but he's doing okay, you know, same old, same old on his situation, which most of you know what that is. <sighs> but really, I don't have much to say because, you know, it's just been a couple of weeks since I made a video. I want to say Jasper's doing okay, and I wanted to tell you, James asked me if I'd said something to you guys about it. Well, you know, when Jasper was sick, um, you know, it was a year ago Christmas, he was starting to get sick. And what, he's always had a litter box upstairs. Well, we went ahead and put one upstairs and one downstairs. And eventually, when he had his surgery and everything, you know, he hardly ever used the one upstairs after we moved it downstairs. And so he always used the litter box downstairs. But now, um, after he had his surgery and everything, he's doing fine and everything. And I told James, I, you know, James, James, what he did was he just went ahead and brought that other litter box downstairs and so we just wondered what he would do that crazy cat he uses both of them they're side by side but he uses one for poo and one for pee <laughs> our cat is so spoiled <laughs> so now two litter boxes to clean up you know <laughs> i know it's silly <laughs> i feel silly for even telling that story well but the Jeep's doing good. I love that Jeep. I love to drive it. It's so fun to drive. And um, really, that's about it. I've got some new subscribers, and I will try my best to put them down in the description box so you all can go and check them out. I want to thank you for subscribing to me. Somebody said the other day I, he didn't know why um, people think they're subscribers. And I just think it's nice to thank people who takes the time to watch your videos and they subscribe to your channel. They're, you know, interested in you and your life. And so I want to thank you. Thank you. All right, everybody. I guess that's about it. I will try to put some footage, maybe, of that wreck over on the bridge. And um, until next time. Oh, I want to say one. Listen to me. Getting all in a hurry. <laughs> For my project in February, here's what I want to do. I really want to paint my closet door on my master bedroom closet. But I know it's probably, if, I'm t if I don't get warm weather, some kind of warm weather for at least one day, that's going to be hard for me to do. So, I'd like to get that done, so I hope I will be able to. But I also want to put all my Christmas ornaments. I've got them all up, my Christmas decorations and everything. They're all, but they're not in the proper place where they need to be. I need to find a place for them to make it a permanent house for them. Not up in the loft, because if they go up in the loft, I'll never be able to get them. My Christmas tree's up there, and it's, it's abandoned up there. So, I need to find a place for them. I want to do that, and over here I've got two cabinets. One of them's for my beading and stuff. It's just a wreck. And the other one is for the household stuff, like pencils, pens, and... You know, things like that, tape, and, and it's just a nightmare, too. So, I would like to get that cleaned out. If I can get two of those three things done, I'll be happy. So, that is my my hopes and dreams for my February project. All right, everybody. I know this is a boring, silly video, but I just want to say hey. I hope you all doing good. Until next time, this is Melissa reporting from Up in the Holler. Bye, everybody.